Ya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Rekan-rekan Gerbang 7 Tamsel di mana saja Anda berada ya. Baik untuk video kali ini saya akan uh, coba menayangkan atau mereaksen satu buah video dari channelnya uh, Suara Palestina TV ya Yang mana dalam channel ini membahas mengenai permohonan dari salah seorang uh, tokoh di Washington DC yang uh, menginginkan agar pemerintah Republik Indonesia tidak menerima kontingen dari Israel dalam rangka uh, Piala Dunia Usia 20 yang nanti akan diselenggarakan di Indonesia permohonan ini disampaikan melalui media dari Washington DC Amerika Serikat Oke okay, rekan-rekan semuanya coba kita lihat dulu apa yang uh, dimohonkan oleh tokoh berkebangsaan uh, keturunan Israel ini tapi beliau menyatakan ini dari uh, Washington DC di Amerika Serikat untuk uh, pemerintah Republik Indonesia Oke okay, kita dengarkan bersama-sama say hello to all my friends in Indonesia. This is a plea to the president of Indonesia, to members of civil society, to uh, politicians and journalists and citizens of Indonesia. I plead with you, do not allow the Israeli football team to play in Indonesia. Allowing the Israeli football team to play, to enter Indonesia and to participate in the games legitimizes the apartheid regime of Israel, legitimizes the oppression of Palestinians, gives permission to Israel to continue to kill and to oppress Palestinians and tell Israel that they can get away with it. And even, even a great Muslim country like Indonesia will look the other way and allow the Israeli team to participate. Palestinians are fighting every single day, as I'm sure you all know, fighting every single day for their freedom, for their lives, for their children. It is imperative that the international community stand with Palestine. It is imperative that there be no tolerance for Zionism, no tolerance for the state of Israel. I'm speaking to you from Washington, D.C., which is not only the capital of the United States, but it's the capital of support for Israel. This is where the largest amounts of money, billions of dollars, and the largest amounts of weapons, billions of dollars worth of weapons, go directly to Israel to continue to kill and oppress and maintain an apartheid regime in Palestine. Palestinians cannot win this alone. They cannot gain their freedom without our support. They cannot gain their freedom without the Arab and the Muslim countries supporting them. If a large and important Muslim country like Indonesia begins to normalize, begins to allow for cracks in this wall, which represented a moral stance, a moral stance against Zionism and against Israel, a moral stance which says there will be no tolerance for apartheid. If a great country like Indonesia allows this to happen, then what will the other, what will the other Muslim countries say? Already we see Arab countries and some Muslim countries opening up to Israel. This is a very dangerous phenomenon. We must stop it. I cannot plead with you enough. It is crucial. Palestinians are dying every single day. Israeli society must know that as long as they vote for the apart an apartheid uh, government, as long as they maintain an apartheid regime, as long as they do not stand up and demand freedom for Palestinians, as long as they maintain this brutal siege against uh, the people of Gaza, a brutal and unnecessary and unjustifiable blockade, keeping over two million people in the Gaza Strip, basically an open-end prison, maintaining three and a half Palestinians in ghettos within the West Bank, maintaining Palestinians in the Naqab, who are citizens or so-called citizens of the state of Israel, maintaining this brutality of thousands of home demolitions every year, and desecrating Jerusalem, desecrating Al-Aqsa on a regular basis, the worst, the worst violators, the worst desecrators of the Al-Aqsa compound and the Masjid Al-Aqsa are now in places of power within the Israeli government. Before they were considered a fringe, before they had some power, but they weren't in power. 
Today, the very people who want to destroy Al-Aqsa are in the government. They hold key positions. It is crucial, absolutely crucial, that Indonesia not allow representatives, whether it be sporting representatives, cultural representatives, diplomatic representatives, or academic representatives from the state of Israel to enter Indonesia. It would be a terrible thing. We must stand with Palestine. There must be zero tolerance for Israel and Zionism. Please do not allow the Israeli team to enter Indonesia and play. I plead with the president. I plead with civil society members. I plead with all Indonesians. My name is Miko Pellet. My father was a, was, a, in his, was a general in the Israeli army. My grandfather signed the Israeli Declaration of Independence. I know Israel. I know the apartheid. I come from the privileged side of the apartheid. I plead with you, stand with Palestine, stand firm, maintain your moral stance, stand with Palestine, and together we can free Palestine. Together we can see an end to the suffering and an end to the apartheid regime. Thank you very much. Ya, itulah saudara satu video dari Suara Palestina TV di mana dalam video tersebut Salah seorang dari keturunan Israel yang tinggal di Washington DC Telah memohon kepada pemerintah Republik Indonesia Agar kontingen Israel tidak diberikan izin Atau dalam arti kata ditolak untuk ikut dalam uh, turnamen Piala Dunia Usia 20 Yang nanti akan dilaksanakan di Jakarta Karena menurutnya bahwa Indonesia adalah salah satu pendukung uh, terbesar dari uh, rakyat Palestina di mana memang tidak ada hubungan diplomatik apapun antara Indonesia dengan Israel. Jadi uh, tokoh sebagaimana yang dimaksud tadi adalah menginginkan agar pemerintah Republik Indonesia uh, harus menolak dari kontingen uh, kebangsaan Israel untuk berlaga mengikuti Piala Dunia U20 di Jakarta. Nah, menurut Anda seperti apa kira-kira apakah memang kita Indonesia ini bisa menolak dari ya, kontingen tersebut atau seperti apa? Oke, rekan-rekan semuanya silakan tulis di kolom komentar di bawah ini. Terima kasih.